Addressing the media, the managing director UDB, Ms. Patricia Odegola says, the increasing threat of climate change and environmental degradation has the potential to present high social economic risks to the economy. As the impacts continue to manifest through floods, droughts, landslides, and moles and crop epidemics, among other signs in different parts of the country, they are more harmful to the poor and marginalized who depend largely on natural resources for their livelihood. Globally, there is a lot of money. There is a lot of money which has come up um, in the global system to finance. Uh, climate change. We would like to tap into these resources. So we put up a framework, we put up a unit in the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development and a debt a di directorate to mobilize this resource. And we are going to use banks like a development bank to reach out to the people by bringing these resources to them. They are now what we call carbon credits whereby as a country we are going to be uh, selling our carbon credits to those countries who are the champions of pollution. So despite the challenges in implementing the policies in place, such as financial constraints, capacity challenges, limited coordination among different institutions, inadequacies in monitoring climate finance flows, limitations in enforcement of environmental regulations and so many others, we can appreciate the progress that has been made by the different stakeholders, especially the government and the development partners um, in your different capacities. The bank will stimulate green economic growth by coordinating green financing options, mobilizing and increasing access to green finance by structuring and providing tailored products to address market gaps, including risk mitigation products, and providing the right products to address investment demand in the green sector. Now, this facility is coming to be used to not only mitigate but adapt ourselves to the environment. The vulnerability of the population requires urgent need to adapt and maintain future economic growth opportunities by transitioning to a low carbon green economy and we are aware that this will require massive investment. The objective will foster climate conscious change in investments with a clear objective of building climate proof businesses as this is a better strategy for building long term viable enterprises that are adaptive to climate impacts and seek a low carbon development pathway. Sandra Kahunde, UBC News.